What is up, everybody? Today is May 8th, and it's Monday. It's roughly around 8.30, 9 o'clock. can't remember what time it really is. Um. Anyways, yesterday I had our family friend, what my wife calls cousins, because, um, you know, they knew each other for years and years. I mean, almost like 20 years. Um, and now, the, and that was the girl, and we knew the mom and dad, and, and, you know, now she has a husband, two kids with him, and he's uh, roughly about 32 years old, but that really don't matter, but they've been friends since, I don't know exactly how old the daughter is, but, uh, Dee, Dee and her two sisters been friends with her daughter for roughly 20 years. So 11 or 12 year, when they were about 11 or 12, they met. Uh, but uh, her mom went to school with the guy's wife, and went and uh, went to school with her dad. So all went to school together. Marie, her mom, and her dad went to school together. Now I don't know if. My wife's dad went to school with him, but he knew about him. But I really didn't get a lot of details. I really didn't get to meet these people till about three or four years after my wife's dad died. And I got to meet them and stuff. That was a big thing uh, they were helping us with. And, and that's how I got to meet them. I think we were going to do something with plumbing. I think they came out and helped us with plumbing. It was somewhere out here. I can't somewhere in the field. Because we were going to uh, put a fist wheel out here. A big, big one with uh, a garage setup. Like almost um, what you would, you could put a four-wheeler in. Uh, and it was a fifth wheel. So we could put our lawnmowers in there and weed whackers and stuff. Because there was a wall, and a big door would open up, and it'd be like a little garage. It was like a big storage. So, you know, we could put our weed whackers and blowers and stuff in there. That would have been cool. I could have, it would, well, almost it was big enough to put my scooter in there, because it was like seven feet long. And the scooter is like six, two long. So it would have worked, and I could have my weed whacker, my blower, my edgers, whatever chainsaw whatever I wanted to put in there you know I could put up hooks and stuff I can you know I could even hang a lawnmower because the handle the handles you can fold and it would literally break down to a square because when we bought the lawnmower the only thing we really had to do with the lawnmower is add the oil put some fuel in it put the filter in it put the spark plug in it and primed it and Boom, it started on the third or fourth pole. Now I think it's maybe two poles, you know, because it has, you know, that has to break in and stuff. Because you can't, I mean, they probably run them when they, you know, before they ship them. But, you know, it's a good little lawnmower for 115 bucks at Walmart. It was a pretty good lawnmower. But, yeah, but uh, that, I think that's how we met them. We were going to get the fifth wheel out here. That and we, we ran a bunch of plumb lines and we added a couple extra ones. I, and I think this line here was going to be where we were going to park the fish with somewhere over here. And I was going to, I was going to level it out. And over here, I was going to all level all this out. But well, I did it first, you know, then grass screw and stuff. And this was going to be, you know, the driveway and stuff. And I was going to. Enter from one area, come around and park it here, and the camper would have been someone here. Um, that's why the poles were here, these poles, because um, not only I was gonna have a hole in the tank right there with water, and only why we were gonna build a hole in the tank just in case. If the power did go out, that would have been 
a gravity fed it would have gravity f flowed down and I still would have had water that way because it would have filled up the tanks and that and I still would have had electricity for the pump to prime it up through the the thing there was a couple ways I was going to do that because uh I believe there's a nozzle at the bottom, and I think I would have had to put a nozzle at the top. Yes, I would have had to fill it, but I would have had all that extra water. But what I think what we're, we're going to end up doing is uh, to make it safe, I think we're going to cut the top off because it's... Um, tank back here I mean I don't know how much water that is maybe 200 gallons and we we're gonna cut this top off because it's sealed and we we're gonna get um, get it professionally sandblasted and put you know paint it for safety for water now I think what we're, we're gonna end up doing just put a Big old piece of plexiglass on top of it with a brick. And we could have felt it that way and just put the brick so it wouldn't get dirty. And uh, I think what we're going to end up doing is put a filtering system in inside before it enters the home and have a filtering system inside the home in the fifth wheel. That was our plan. But getting down to it, the fish will end up becoming a bust. Now it wasn't a, now these poles didn't cost us really any money. Only time only and only time it really cost any money was just paying. We had the tire, we we went up the pole about three and a half feet or four feet, I can't remember what it was. The tar bucket's right here, still to this day. The tar bucket's still here. There's a tar bucket, so it wasn't a lot of tar because we put it on pre pretty thin. You can see the tar on the pole. That's so the pole wouldn't rot. Now, them poles ain't solid in the ground. They're just in the ground. We use the bucket and the digger to pop it in. And because we were going to just build a small tabletop, but we wanted it high enough so when the water flew, it would still flow at a five or six mile an hour pace. And once it was full, we just turned it off and just fill it back up. Because you never know when you lose power. At least some of these houses would have had power. They could, you know, people could still take showers and went to the bathroom, etc. Then we were going to build a septic tank. Now, the septic tank would have been a little bit different. I would have had a big, long tube in the ground about three or four about four or five feet long. Now, four or five feet long is nothing, but it would have been four or five feet from the trailer. And we were, we had a couple options and how to do that. We could have did a 50-gallon blue barrels. Um, I don't know if you guys can see them up there. There's a couple. There's a blue one there, a blue one over there. Um, we were going to maybe do that. And just cut a hole at the bottom and put a couple of tubes in it, three foot tubes, and it'll go back and forth and it would fill as it goes. That was an option. Another option was just like that thing I just showed you what would have been holding our water. Um we could have used another one. And I have two of them. Um one's up in the front by the basketball hoop. Um, but this one's a little bit closer I can show you guys. Um, this is full of plastic. So, we're going to use a barrel, some on mass, right there, the blue barrel. We're going to maybe use like two or three of them and, and do that. There's a couple of them over there, but, uh, we're maybe thinking about using this and putting it in the ground 
and just put in the plexiglass and then we could have just lifted it up and had a guy come out and suck it out every few months and that little bit right there probably only cost you 50 60 bucks like almost like taking two yards of trash to the junkyard what's that cost a couple bucks you know what two three cubic feet so a whole truckload of a trash would be like 19 20 bucks so same thing there 19 20 bucks to get rid of a couple hundred gallons of cock on this you know keep, try to keep it clean for you guys um that's what i was thinking and I just had plastic glass with a brick make sure that nobody you know and put a you know put chicken put a fence around it make it look cool and stuff so nobody would actually walk in there trust me you don't want to go in there you wouldn't want to go in there anyways because it would stink but it would still like i said it'd be like a three to four foot further than the trailer so that would have been kind of cool and we could have put a we could have put a drain fill in. Hey, Bubba Gum. What you doing, Bubba Gum? Huh? What are you, uh, what are you doing, Bubba Gum? Huh? What are you doing, Bubba Gum? Um, if you guys don't know Bubba Gum, that's uh, going to be uh, one of the dogs size Smokey. He's going to be protecting the, the um, chickens and the ducks. And I think my wife's going to get back into doing the turkeys. And we're thinking about maybe getting some goats or sheeps. And I'm thinking about doing, getting a couple, two males from one breeder and two females from another breeder so we can make the cows. So the, the two males would be brothers and the two and the, and from one family and then from another family have two female cows from the same family. And raise them up and just let them keep on breeding and just, you know, it sucks, but delete the caps, the babies, as they got bigger and just keep on having the mom and pa doing it. And then when the mom got too big or the dad got too big, you know, get rid of them just like pigs. You know, you know almost, almost living off animals, you know, having, well, I don't think we would... I don't know, I think we would just have the goats just for almost being like dogs. And we keep the sheep, we would have somebody come out and, you know, cut their hair and we would sell their fur or hair or wool or whatever it is. And we would sell that. And it's amazing things what you can do with just the cow stuff. Um, you can sell their skins and stuff for stuff. You can sell their hooves for stuff. Um, they're big bones for stuff. It's pretty cool. So the whole cow would get recycled in the right way. And trust me, and when it did come time to get rid of the cow, we would have, you know, memories and stuff. But it, you got to always think that cow is keeping you alive. You know, you just didn't kill the cow because the cow was being mean. Or just didn't do what it did. It did what it had to do. It came here. And it came here to take care of us. Just like the chickens lay eggs. Or you take turkeys down for Thanksgiving or Christmas and stuff. A turkey didn't mean that. The turkey doesn't deserve to die. But it knows it's going to feed you. And some people don't like that. And I understand. I try not to bring that stuff up. But, the, you know, the rabbits, you know, they feed you. Now, rabbits don't have a lot of nutrients. But, it's a good snack. Especially, rabbits are expensive. Some rabbits are like 30 bucks. And, it gets expensive. But, that's how life is. God created humans. God created animals. Human killed animals. You know, just like deers and bears and fish and stuff. It's just part of life. It's like the chain of life. You know, so why we got a pyramid. What came first? The food pyramid or the pyramid? You know what came first? 
the food pyramid. Then it probably was the humans. Then it became the regular, the temples and everything else. But I'm not going to go in detail of life. You'll learn that by you're in school. If they still go that deep into life. I hope they do because if you don't, then what you got? You really don't have much. But see, here's another one of them. We could use it pretty deep. I mean, I don't know how, how deep they really are. But yeah, so um, like I said before, I'm looking for somebody to help me use it stringing welder um, and then the stick welding. I like to learn some of that because that trailer over there needs to be fixed. My truck needs to be patched up for the kickers for under the door. I like to rebuild that gate, make it a little bit bigger. Um, see, we got uh, jet tube bender would make them. Um, another thing I want to fix this jack because the lawnmower's so good, it runs way, way better than the church's lawnmower did. Oh, it does. Um, I want to do a couple things in here. I like to have this as a shop. Clean all this up, hang up all the tools. I mean, I did put two racks in a couple years ago. And I like to have a welding area. And I like to put the welding area back here when I do some welding. It's still enough room to, you know, if it was messing with fenders or doors or, doors or hoods, it's still a big enough area back there. And that to weld then I could park my truck in here a van as you be whatever I'm driving when it comes to that time I like to do that then maybe build a greenhouse area for painting but then I can't get but I could build a greenhouse over a vehicle and have you know Driving in and stuff. Then, you know, I can keep a lot of material like the welding sticks, the welding spindles and stuff. And that white shed over there. Because that's going to be, the white shed over there is going to be um, where I have my, a laptop. And only what the laptop is going to be for is to look up how to fix RC cars and stuff. And figure out to order upgrades for the RC cars. And hooking up a battery meter to the internet to get live footage of the battery voltages and and stuff. And, and editing. And a lot of video editing because um, I got a couple programs I can literally make movies. So... If I want to do certain things with my fingers, like putting lightning bolts, when I, when I move my fingers, lightning bolts would come out of my fingertips, or go like this and be fire in my hand. That editing program will do that. Um, and I set it up because I think now computers are so high tech now. All this is going to be pretty cool. And I believe my laptop can still do a lot of the editing because it's only two years old. I think it's still upgradable for the new Windows. I'm not, I'm not for sure what they're at right now. I think my computer has Windows 7, but I think it's compatible for the higher upgrades. If not, I you know, it's not like we can change the processors. I think you can get more computer stuff now, but I'm not for sure. Uh, and um, see, that was another way we were going to use for septic tank and I was going to use that for propane and that's like a 40 or 50 gallon bottle maybe a little bigger I don't, I'm not for sure um, and that's still up to code that holding tank of water is up to code so I had different ways of holding water and stuff and um, our electricity because yeah, there was a there is electricity down there, but we had an option on 
electricity. We could run a couple solar panels, run a couple um, 150s or 240s or 340s or 400s for watts. But um, I do have a couple options here. I have this Yamaha generator. I don't remember the size. That was going to be an option. Then this uh, portable generator over here. Um, the 7 horsepower. I believe it's 3,500 watts there. And all that needs is, honestly, tend and loving care. So it probably needs a fill filter, carburetor adjustments, or whatever, or cleaning. New spark plug, air filter, you know, oil and stuff like that. Just maintenance. But I cannot remember how big. Oh, this is uh, an EF 6600 DE. So... So, whatever that all means. So, that was going to be, and that, like I said, that blue one over there is like 7 horsepower. This is probably like 21 or 24. So, that was going to be an option between rebuilding a generator or running that generator or getting a couple solar panels. But then, you see what that is, 3,500 watts. And I just said only a couple of watts on the solar panels. So, I really don't know. How many watts I need? I think that one of them two generators would work for the first one. Because a lot of stuff, my phone, you know, it can charge to a battery. My laptop, it could be on a battery. My tablet can be on a battery. Only thing that really wouldn't be on a battery is like the refrigerator, the TV, the PlayStation, and stuff. The DVD player, and the, and the big screen. Well... My big screen, her 32 inch, my 32 inch, but uh, we wouldn't have all that on. But I think what we would honestly do is have a couple solar panels plus that generator, and on top of that generator, we would still charge the battery. That'd be that could be an option too. See, this lawnmower, it works. It just goes through a lot of blades. Not that one doesn't. It's just the decks messed up from him. Too many rocks and all that, but besides all that, the truck's fixed. I just have a check on the oil, check on the water. There's no leaks. That's a plus. You know, did the fuel pump one couple months in the alternator, the battery, um, did all that good stuff and. You got the oil pan gasket, then the water pump. You got the gasket for the thermostat. I did a short video on that. You guys will see that. Now it's taking 10 or 11 care and trying to figure out that windshield. Yes, the windshield's cracked, but it's still legit. Um, it don't, that crack doesn't bother me. And the cops said, hey, if it doesn't bother you, I'm not too worried about it. It's not a huge crack. It's just a little crack. But then I want to figure out maybe going to the junkyard maybe getting some headlights put in and getting some back headlights put in as of right now these headlights i'll show you i'm not gonna lie to you guys um hold on by duct tape i'm not gonna lie to you guys um there's only one screw on this side we're towing this but it's solid i mean this screw's holding it but there's no screw here so i put a little bit of duct tape just to be safe and there's, so you can see that move, duct tape and a little bit of duct tape here for safety and just the screw here. So I like to get this replaced and that. So what ended up happening was the tab broke. There's a tab, there's a piece of metal thing which slides in and has the screw mechanism. But and I couldn't find all the pieces when we took this off. It, no accidents happened, no biggie, I don't care. The truck's old. I mean, it's an old four, so you know how that all goes. But I'm just happy we have somebody who can help me and doesn't charge us too much money because that would have been that was from 
Got there around 11. Didn't get home till like 9, 10. And we had to run to the store back and forth because, well, we weren't going to change the water pump. We thought, okay, we'll just get the back, the back gaskets, the square gaskets. It's a square gasket with a, a hole and stuff. And, well, and then, well, the first time we got the gaskets and that, then we had to come back and get clamps because we noticed one of the hose was leaking. And we got some antifreeze. And finding out, when we got it all back together, started it up, it was really, it was still losing. I'm like, what the heck is going on? I smell antifreeze. And the whole system only had water in it. But thank God for being all aluminum. Aluminum takes a little longer than rust, I guess, or cast iron or whatever it is. Because um, I was scared. I thought, okay, me adding water for all them times for three months, just pure water. I thought, oh, my God, it's going to be destroyed. I'm going to get over here. I'm going to they're gonna beat me up or something and stuff. I was scared. I didn't even sleep that night. I barely slept this one. Last night, because I was still worried about the truck, you know, I spent all that money. Stuff ain't cheap, man. When you start learning how to drive where you're driving now, you know how much maintenance is. Especially if you don't have a family friend who is, who's a mechanic. And, I mean, I had, you know, he didn't want no money. But uh, I wasn't going to work like that. I'm like, man, I'm going to give you something. Um, I'm like, throw out a number. You know, it was like 300 bucks. I'm like, yeah, sure, why not? I mean, I would have gave me more. He goes, oh, more? I'm like, no, nope. you said 300. If you would have said four, I would have gave it to you. Wouldn't even hesitated, but. Oh, man. I don't know if I have all the receipts. Because, um, well, here's one. What's this one? Gasket was seven seventy three. Um, the antifreeze was uh, thirty dollars. The oil was about thirty seven dollars with the filter. Um, the oil filter. Um, so that was a hundred. Um, oh, let's see. The gasket, the antifreeze. And the oil and oil filter, you know, it was like a hundred dollars. Then the gasket itself, I think, does he have the receipt or do I have the receipt? I'm not for sure. Then I had to get clamps and stuff on brake fluid. The brake fluid was like twenty-one dollars. He went through like four cans of that, but we had to to clean the the skid plates and all that. Then you know we had to buy clamps and more clamps but they didn't get no sizes um i bought some zip ties because i the whole gasket's down you cut them but he had his own so i took mine home i i thought i would need that you never know but then i don't know where the receipts are but i think the gasket um, was like 73 for the oil pan gasket. Not for sure how much exactly it cost, but it's all good, it looks like. Runs a little bit better. I mean, you don't have all that gunk in it, not me. But who knows how much gunk's from the top, but like I said, I'll do another uh, oil change again. Just be safe. But I just wanna let you guys know.